Hey guys, it's Apollo from Razer Gaming, and I'm back with another Volts tutorial in which I'll be covering Power Armor. Now, before I get on with the tutorial, I'd just like to thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel. We've just hit over 100 subscribers, and uh, that to us means a lot, especially that knowing that people are actually finding these tutorials useful. So, uh, as a thank you, I've decided to skip ahead with the tutorials and uh, go with uh, showing you how to make the Power Armor, as many of you have been asking. Uh, so I'm, this is going to be a, probably a two-part tutorial as there's a lot to cover. In this tutorial I'll be covering all the components that you'll require to make the actual power armor and how to upgrade it. And uh, the next video I'll show you how, uh, how, to, how to use a tinker table, how to power your armor, etc. So the first component used to upgrade your power armor that I'll show you to make is a, it's called solenoid. And uh, it's very simple. I'll sh first thing I need to show you is how to make a wiring. So it's very simple. You can you need two golden nuggets. If you don't know how to make golden nugget nuggets, all you need is a uh, golden ingot put into a crafting table. And it makes nine golden golden nuggets. You can also farm them from the pigmen in the Nether, but uh, the golden ingots probably the easiest way to get them. And you also need copper wire or insulated copper wire. Either works. I'll show you both ways. So it's a very simple recipe. All you have to do is put that there and the copper wire in the middle. Like I said, you could replace that with the insulated copper wire. That's the same thing. It also could be placed anywhere on the table as long as they're all adjacent to each other like so. So, very easy. There you go, you've got copper wire, oh, sorry, wiring. And the to make the solenoid itself, uh, you need six wiring and three iron ingots, just like it was in the chest. Iron ingots there, wiring on the sides, and here's your first component, the solenoid. So the next component I'll show you how to make is a servo motor. Very simple, most of the components in here I've already shown you how to make. So solenoids I've literally just showed you how to make, iron ingots and basic circuit which we have covered before. So uh, just like it was in chest, it, uh, the circuit on top, solenoids on the sides and the iron ingot in, in the middle and here we go, we got so, uh, servo motor. So the next item on the list is a glider wing. Very simple recipe again, uh, all you need is a steel plate, I'll show you how to make that one. Uh, I've shown you how to make it before but not many times so just to refresh your memory. All you need to do is place uh, four steel ingots in the corner of the table like so. It works in any corner like that as I'm showing you right now. All work and there you go, you got steel plate, very easy to make. And the next thing I'll just show you how to make the uh, glider wing. You need three steel plates and two iron ingots just like it was in your chest. Again to place the steel plates like so, iron ingots here and here we go, a glider wing. The next component I'm going to show you is a little bit more complicated. It is the iron thruster. And it does require some uh, items that I haven't, haven't, made, haven't shown you how to make before. So uh, the first thing that I'll need to show you is how to make an elite circuit. But before I can show you how to make that, I need to show you how to make an advanced circuit. So before, I've only shown you how to make a basic circuit. So uh, with all these materials we've got here, you've got a diamond, six redstone, a couple of basic circuits, and uh, all you need to do is just like it was in chest, redstone goes on the top and bottom rows, basic circuits on the sides, and diamond in the middle. And here you go, you've got an advanced circuit, uh, which you then require to make an elite circuit. So just like uh, it, it is a little bit more expensive to make, you need a lapis lazuli block. The way you make lapis lazuli block is just grab normal, nine uh, lapis lazuli and you fill up the entire uh, crafting table and it makes you a block, just like with any other blocks in the game. Uh, so, but what you'll need for this is six gold ingots, a couple of advanced circuits, and a lapis lazuli block. And uh, you place the ingots on the top and bottom, lapis lazuli block in the middle, and circuits on the sides. And you've got an elite circuit. And then now we, I can move, I can move on to show you how to make the ion thruster itself. Uh, so just like this recipe here, you need another steel, two more steel plates. I've already showed you how to make those, so I won't do it again. But you have to make these solenoids as well, glowstone dust, which you can easily require acquire from uh, the Nether. So just like it was in the chest, place the solenoids there, glowstone in the middle, lead circuit there, and steel plates in the top. And here you go, you've got iron thruster. So the next three items I'll show you how to make are the capacitors which will be used to power your different parts of the power armor uh, to do whatever you want it to do, but I'll cover more of that in the next tutorial. Uh, the first thing I'll show you how to make is the low voltage capacitor. What you'll need for that is a battery. I think I've showed you how to make one before, but just to refresh your memory, I'll show you how to make it again. Very simple recipe. Uh, you put tin ingots on the sides like that and one at the top, redstone in the middle, coal at the bottom, and you've got a battery. Now to make the uh, low voltage capacitor, you will require a full battery, and it's just—it's a very simple recipe, just like it was in the chest. Make sure the battery is powered, 
and you put the wiring at the top and the battery in the middle and it works just like before as long as they're on any row the low, capac the low voltage capacitor will work but you need to make sure again the battery needs to be full, uh, fully filled up for it to actually work now if you don't know how to charge a battery up I've got a, a battery box set up here providing you've got power inside all you need to do is place the battery into this slot here with the arrow pointing towards it which then takes the power out of the battery box and places into the battery as you can see it's filling up pretty quickly but that is how you fill up the battery which you'll require to make the capacitor so the next capacitor is the medium voltage capacitor what you'll need for that is an advanced battery I don't think I've ever showed you how to make that before so I'm going to cover it now it's a very simple recipe all you need is silver ingots and glowstone dust again glowstone just get that from the nether it's not much it's very easy to find but the silver again looks similar with the tin from the previous battery you put it on the sides like so glowstone there and advanced battery again with the uh, medium voltage capacitor it's the same thing those recipes the same on the sides and the battery needs to be full again full of electricity for it to work again you can put it on the sides it works again on all of those rows as long as they're on as a row and you've got a medium capacitor right there so the last component I'll show how to make is the high voltage capacitor. For that you need an elite bat battery, which I haven't shown you how to show bef uh, make before, so I'll show you how to make that now. It is a little bit tricky to acquire, uh, but I'll talk to through the items now. Uh, again, all you need is steel plates, very easy to acquire, insulated copper wire. Uh, it only works with the insulated copper wire, so make sure you use that one. And uh, the other three items are a little bit hard to acquire. You're going to need require. You're going to need lead ingots and a ghast tier. Now all of these items are, are acquired through killing monsters in the nether. Uh, the lead ingots are acquired from withered skeletons or withered skeletons. They drop about 1 to 4 ingots. Um, I don't think it's 100% drop so you might have to farm for them a little bit. And the ghast tier is dropped from the ghast which are the big flying octopus looking things. Uh, a little bit hard to kill above ground but they do, do drop them. Uh, it, like I said it's a little bit tricky to get but um, if you do a little bit of farming in the nether, you should not have a problem finding these. But I'll, just like it was in the chest, place the steel plates on the sides there, insulated copper wires top and bottom, letting gates on the sides, and gas tier there. There you go, you've got an elite battery. And again, exactly the same recipe as it was with the previous ones. Again, you need to make sure you've got the, the, the elite battery is fully charged and you've got the wiring on the sides and there you go, you've got a high voltage capacitor. So this concludes the first section of this tutorial about the power armor. These are all the components you'll ever require to uh, upgrade your suit, your power armor suit, which I'll show you how to use in the next tutorial. If you find this tutorial useful, make sure you rate, comment and subscribe. And uh, again, I want to thank everyone for supporting us, watching our videos and subscribing to our channel. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Take care.